Yeah. If you are a bad sense, eh? Ah, how about you see her? Hey, hey, no one can say what you say. My name is Victor Jan. Everyone in a from calls me uncle. Which year did you start this factory? I started the factory in the year 2005. So it's been about 17 years since I started. I realized that the unemployment in the community was very high. The young men and the women didn't have anything to do. So I decided that I'll start the Gary factory so that the people in the community would get something to do and I would also make profits to take care of myself and my family. Why did you choose Gary? I realized that we grow a lot of cassava in a crofum and that a lot of the cassava was going bad. The farmers were making a lot of losses. So I decided that if I choose Gary, we can make use of the cassava and the farmers would also make profits. What are some of the challenges you faced initially? Initially, one of the major challenges was finances. And somewhere along the line, we ran out of cassava to make the Gary. So we were informed that we could get cassava from Cote d'Ivoire. So we ended up traveling to Cote d'Ivoire to get the cassava for the Gary production. But currently, the amount of cassava being produced in Ecrofrom is enough, so we no longer go to Cote d'Ivoire. At that time, we didn't have enough cassava in Ecrofrom to make the gary. And when we inquired, we were told that we could get enough cassava from Cote d'Ivoire. And indeed, when we went, we got a lot of cassava. Was the cassava cheaper in Cote d'Ivoire? The price in Cote d'Ivoire was cheaper. However, if you factor in the cost of transportation, it is not cheaper. In addition, the amount of gari you comparing that of Cote d'Ivoire in Ghana, which is cheaper. We prefer to get the cassava from a crofum. The amount of gari you make from the cassava in Cote d'Ivoire is not as much as the amount of gari we get from the cassava we grow here in a crofum. So we prefer the cassava we grow in Ghana.
How much money did you start with and what did you purchase first? I started with 3,000 CDs and I started off by putting up the building and then I bought a manual grater. It took me several years before I purchased the electronic devices because I didn't even have electricity here at that time. How many people did you start with? I started with 20 people. Did you start with 20 people at once? Yes, I started with 20 people at once. So how much do you pay them? Actually, there are more than 20 people. Just that, those who are permanently in the production of the gari are 20. However, other people come from home to peel the cassava. After the production, I take the gari and sell it. Also, since I intend to help the community with the production, I don't pay them on a daily basis. After I buy a care full of cassava and they make the gari, I take the gari and sell and I give all the profits back to them. For instance, if the bag of gari costs 70 CDs and I sell it for 80 CDs, the 10 CDs of it is given back to them as profits. All the profits goes back to the women. Because I intend to help the community, the profit goes back to the one who does the production. Are they not making more profits than you? They are, but the intention is to help the community, not to make money for myself and my family. It's to help the whole community. So I don't worry about them making more profits than me. No, that's not what I bother about. I just put some 10 cities on it, and that profit is to help me and some other women and some Nigerians when they come around. <laughs> This is where the cassava is peeled. When the truck brings the cassava, it's unloaded here. It may be a rhino truck, a pickup, or a tricycle. This is where the cassava is unloaded. Then the next day, the women come and help with the peeling of the cassava. As you can see, that is what is ongoing. So this is where the cassava is unloaded, and the women come and help with the peeling of the cassava the next day. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for a long time. So how many years now? It's been over 100 hey, years. Hey, now what does somebody say? Hey, 100 years. How old are you, Grandma? Years ago, we were being paid two CDs for peeling the cassava. It was 2,000 CDs back then, which is two CDs now. How long ago was this? Oh, it's a long time ago. How much do you get paid now? We get paid 10 CDs. How much do you have to pay to get paid 10 CDs? It's for the whole day. After the peeling process, this is where the cassava is brought for grinding. So this is the peeled cassava. From there, we come to the grinding machine. We have two of that. So when you put the cassava in, press a button and the grinding starts. We put it in this box so all the water to drain out so that it becomes very dry. So it stays in there for three days. From there, we bring it out in this sack. Here, mm. the drying process continues. This device ensures that any residual water is taken out of the cassava. Okay.
So you have that desire, At the end of the drying stage, we get it in this form. It becomes dry before the roasting of the gari will start. This stage of the gari production is the sieving stage, which comes before the roasting starts. The sieving separates the gari into the fine one, which goes into the roasting stage, and the coarse one, which is kept aside. They call this impasa. It is separated from the bunch because the greens are too big to be included in the gari. This is the final stage of the gari production process where the gari is carefully packaged in big sacks ready to be sold. the gari goes to the market and this is how you get the gari for your favorite gari based meals like gari sokens gari and shito eba gari photo Gary and beans. And what have you? Wow. Oh, very well done. God bless you. A lot of people wouldn't have done this. Wow. Please, what's your phone number? 35, 31, 30. Okay.